Hey everybody, Ken Davenport here. Welcome back to the Whiteboard Workshop, episode number 10. 10 already. Pretty good, right? Hope you're enjoying. Let us know if you are. Let us know if you have very specific topics you want to discuss. We will get into it. Throw it in the comments below. We actually do read those. Uh, this week's Whiteboard Workshop is brought to you by a very special guest who is not here today. Very special guest though, uh, the master himself, David Mamet. Uh, I was taking his master class. Do you know about masterclass.com? It's amazing. Uh, you get great tips, you can learn how to cook, you can learn how to play chess, and you can learn the art of playwriting as well. Uh, so I took David Mamet's master class to be thinking about this stuff. Great reminders, even if you're a master playwright. Uh, and some great, great suggestions on how to keep things focused. He had uh, his own whiteboard workshop, frankly, three very specific tips uh, on what should happen, the three questions to ask in every scene. Three questions that David Mamet asks for every single scene that he writes. Ready? Okay, I'm gonna have to erase this, so just bear us one, one, one second. The three questions that David asked for every single scene that you should ask when you're writing your play. Number one, who wants what from whom? Every character needs an objective. David wants every character to have an objective in every single scene from another person, right? This is old acting improv 101. You want something, you don't want to give it to him, go. Right? Every scene follows that same framework according to David Mamet, and he is right. Number two, what happens, what happens if they don't get it? Right? In other words, raise the stakes. Raise the stakes super, super high. So very simple, number one about objective, number two, what happens if they don't get it? Make that who, make this guy right here, the protagonist usually in that scene, if not the whole play, make him very, very desperate. He's gotta get it, he's gotta get it. He will do anything to get it, right? And number three, the last question to ask in every single scene according to David Mamet, why now? Why now in the plot, right? In the arc of the play, why in this specific scene? What makes these stakes so immediate? If you ask yourself these three questions, you'll have a very clear and concise scene that will stay ahead of the audience, okay? Try it. If you've written a play already, go read through a scene and ask yourself these three questions. You have easy answers for it. If you don't, get back to work according to Mr. Mamet. If you're about to start a play, keep these three questions like on a notepad right by your computer, right by your typewriter if you still use those. Uh, and ask yourself. It'll just keep you in mind and make sure you've got an action-packed play that gets right to the heart of the matter. Good luck. Let us know what you think. If this was helpful, tell David Mamet. And also uh, share it amongst your friends and family and fellow playwrights. Uh, and we'll see you next time for episode 11.